Hey everyone, it's Johannes here from Clearlight Saunas. Today's video is really all about sauna upgrades. We got a big variety of different upgrades or health modalities that you can actually really put in a sauna. In this video, we're gonna talk about red light therapy. Specifically for upgrading it into the sauna, we're gonna talk about what it does, how it works, what the benefits are, and why you may consider adding it into your clear light sauna. Red light therapy is a type of light therapy. I think the, the name says that it's a combination of red light and near infrared, very specific wavelength, 600 to 660 nanometers, 800 to 860, 870 nanometers. And when those two come together at, a, at the right intensity, uh, with those specific wavelengths, our skin is essentially able to absorb this light and to activate the mitochondria. Mitochondria can be considered our power plants for the body, that, amongst other things, they're responsible to generate ATP, adenine an triphosphate, which can be considered the fuel for the body. We wanna make sure that our body runs optimally. We wanna make sure that our mitochondria are functioning well and that our body is able to produce enough ATP to make sure that all these amazing programs, functions we have within the body can run optimally. So red light therapy has been around for oh, probably a number of decades. It's a very, very well researched field. There are lots of benefits, which I will talk about. Um, but the main thing is really that red light therapy was never available for a sauna environment. Red light therapy, because it runs on LEDs, requires fans behind these units in order to cool these LEDs. Now, if you're thinking about a sauna environment, you know, we can easily get up to temperatures of 55, 60 degrees Celsius in a clear light sauna. Therefore, red light therapy was never really possible to integrate into the sauna because this excessive or extreme heat environment would literally cause the red light therapy to fail, like because it wouldn't be able to cool enough. And therefore, I think around two to three years ago, we started inventing and producing a red light therapy tower that is specifically designed for sauna. The casing is of really high quality. The design is purposely built so that it can actually withstand these higher temperatures. And therefore it's perfectly fine to use outside the sauna as well as into the sauna. And that's truly unique to the red light therapy. Benefits of red light therapy are endless almost. Um, you know, a lot of research has really gone into understanding, you know, hormone health. So it's known, for instance, to increase testosterone for men, which is obviously the, the sex hormone. But amongst other things, it's responsible for stress relief in men. Um, similar positive effects from a hormone perspective have been researched for women. Obviously less testosterone, but a more complex hormone mix, essentially. Um, it's been shown for wound healing. Uh, you know, it's been helping, or it's been shown to help with collagen and elastin production for a good skin appearance. In fact, red light therapy is commonly used in Hollywood a beauty clinic to really make sure that the skin is actually looking nice and fresh. There's been a lot of research around performance increase. So essentially there was a study on grip strength and it's been shown to increase that strength by 15%. You know, generally speaking, a lot of these benefits and they're more um, come from more ATP, more energy in the body. Because if we essentially, for instance, use our muscles, we require a lot of you know, nutrients, a lot of oxygen, and it's almost like small inflammation. Like you know, using our muscles and sore muscles is a sort of inflammation. And ATP has shown to essentially improve inflammation, reduce recovery times, increase strength, and generally in the long term help with other aspects such as a healthy circadian rhythm because there's light exposure, which is similar to the sun that you actually get into your eyes and on your skin. Really, there aren't a whole lot of reasons to not use red light therapy. In fact, you know, the studies show very, very well that red light therapy is profound, well studied, super safe for most people, unless you have a photosensitivity, and very easy to integrate either in your sauna or outside of your sauna. As you know, in our clear light saunas, we really believe um, you need a 360 degrees heat exposure. So therefore you get literally heaters all around you. But one of the space that is essentially free is the sauna door. So this red light therapy unit is attached to the front door on the inside. You can take it off if you wanted to, you can leave it on there and you could potentially swap it with other upgrades as well. But it's centered in the middle of the glass door. You can attach it in different heights to really make sure that, you know, if you want to work on your upper body, you can position it that way. If you want to work more on your lower body, you can position it that way too. 
Um, it's probably 20 to 30 centimeters away, maybe a little bit more. So therefore the session time should be at least 20 to 25 minutes um, to really make sure that you maximize the benefit of using the red light therapy in the sauna. The benefit of using red light therapy in your sauna, I personally believe is, is pure efficiency. Like I think we all live a fairly busy life. You know, we have work, we get kids, family and, and other responsibilities that we need to look after. I think most of us are probably happy if we get an hour or an hour and a half to ourselves. If you hop in your clear light sauna, you know, it takes you probably 15 to 25 minutes to heat up depending on where the sauna is located and depending on the model. And imagine, you know, you would be able to, whilst you're in the sauna, combine it with all these different health modalities, some of that I've spoken about. Red light therapy is an easy one to just integrate and do it whilst you sit in the sauna. Or you could also do it in a way so that when you preheat the sauna during the same time, you would actually use the red light therapy. So you can really maximize the types of different wellness modalities that you actually use in your sauna. If you, while you do that, you could read a book, you could meditate, you could listen to an audio book, you could watch a TED talk in theory. And I think that's the true power of really bringing it into your clear light sauna to not actually make it a, a, another wellness modality, but make it part of your go-to place if you really want to look after your health and well-being. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. We hope you found this video valuable. If you want to learn more about our products or the saunas or any research that comes out, give yourself a subscribe button. And most importantly, leave us a comment in terms of feedback, ideas of products that else you want to have in the sauna. We look forward to hearing from you.